So the fourth and final rule pretty much segues from the second and third rule. Now the second and third rule, you're going in perpendicular, good drag angle, depending on what you're doing or as you develop your vision, you're going to go up to a little uh, more increased drag angle. Now, when you are dropping into that drag angle as well, you have to notice that you always want the nozzle to be 50-50 on both sides. So you have to have it pointing into your weld zone. You want it pointing directly into the weld zone at the puddle. You want the shield gas to hit the puddle evenly and you want to be able to heat up and liquefy both pieces of base metal evenly. So if we take our soapstone, we put a, a line down. If I come into perpendicular, drop into my drag angle, and I'm off like this, what happens? Well, I'm pointing my puddle off in that direction, which means I'm heating and cooling uh, the sides of my base metal unevenly. So you don't get the greatest weld in the world. You want to make sure that you're getting equal penetration in both pieces of base metal as you carry your puddle through the weld zone, okay? That means keeping that nozzle straight in. And that's the final rule. So three eighths of an inch, perpendicular, good drag angle, straight into your weld zone.